Oh, you sold out right now? Yeah, I believe so. Do you have your card? Uh, for, you know what? You might also okay. check Strange Machine Games. They're also selling this. They may still have some left. Thank you. Good luck with the podcast. Thanks. All right, so you ready? Yeah. Okay, basically, this game is, is, is a fight against the Zindrani. Right. They actually, the Strange Machine people went over it with me, so I'd, I'd like to try playing it. Okay, sure. Let's, let's, let's try to do a reset because, you know, sometimes. It's, we want to try to reset it to a baseline that allows uh -huh. us to, you know, properly demonstrate the elements. Uh huh. But you know, that's not always easy to reset things, especially when I'm trying to figure out which thresholds is considered top on here. Because it's supposed to be kind of balanced. Being an architectural draftsman lets me see you, uh, the things behind this. So, which one are you? You there, up, baseline set. And there we go. Okay, let's move this a little closer for a good view for the camera. Yes, that's good. And so we start with the five dice. The five dice are the currency in which you will be able to recruit any individual on the board. Uh huh. But you have two opportunities for for re-rolling right. should you not get something you want. Right. right. Like yachts. Right. You start to roll. Like, I don't like those three. I don't like those two. So there. So then we work from work from it from there. All right. And then from there, for like for example, we can get Rick Hunter. Mm -hmm. He's committed to this to that player for the round. Mm -hmm. As is your other options if you decide to take them. So as a result, so we commit Rick, and we can also commit Lisa. Uh huh. And these belong to you for the entire round because the one who possesses the token is the turn player. Uh huh. So as a result of this, we now go to the to the attack setup. Lisa Hayes is special in that she can only destroy a target. It's already one... been damaged. Yep, it's been hurt. And Rick Hunter can damage any any three uh, any three targets. Uh huh. So they make a great team. Oh yes, especially with the fact that Rick Hunter is the only one that is allowed to kill Chiron. <laughs> Chiron can only die to Rick. And that's this one. Yes, that's that's Chiron. Uh -huh. It's worth the most points. Five hit points, but nine victory points. Uh -huh. And I got this. Max Sterling. Uh -huh. A five shot, which is basically uh -huh. your four diagonals for one and a center for two. What is the, the, why is the fact that the center Because it's three. always going to hit there. It's just up to you with uh -huh. Roy Falker to hit in this, qu this quadrant, this quadrant, this quadrant, or this quadrant. Right, so he always hits the center and then hits the three on one quarter. Yeah, it's basically one quarter, quarter of the map. Mm -hmm. And Global is also interesting, because if you recruit him, he will do four damage to any one of five squares in the cross shape, and also acquire the turn player token. Ah. And as well, and Claudia is a laser that fires on any one uh -huh. of six options on any row or column. Big Dixon, another unique one. The time is now 5 o'clock. Yeah. The exhibit hall will be closing in one hour. And in doing so with Ben Dixon, he can one-shot any three battle pods or battle or fighter pods, unless, except if they're in the center. He cannot do that. What is that? What does Ben Dixon do? He, he will kill either this, three of these, or and or three of these. These are the fighter pods and battle pods. Uh huh. So he'll kill he any will. three. Okay. And if there aren't any, if there aren't three on the board, he'll just kill up to three. Up to three, yes, at most. And like the other, the interesting thing is about the game is it's not as static as that. Uh -huh. You'll have opportunities to gain upgrade tokens. Not worth any victory points, but even still, something special could come of it at random. Extra armor or whatnot. Which is basically a word for saying you can convert a die at any given time from, say, target to arrow. But it can be used even on the turn you get them in some cases, like the... Like the flip one face down token to face up, which is a good way to accelerate the depletion of a column. Plenty of options you can do. Is this solo? No, no, no. It's two to four player. And it's, it can be a quick game. Really quick game. So, so can we play one? Or? Sure we can. Well, I'll let you have turn play. Okay. There's the dice. Now, how, 
how does Henry Global work? Because you can only play them if you have the token already, can't no. you? No. You acquire the token. Uh-huh. Yes, you acquire the token if you do, but since you already have it, it's really not that useful. But you can use it to return the but, turn player token to you. If okay, you but the, so this just means I get to go first and someone yes. else gets to go second. Yeah, whoever commissions this would get to be that. But in a two-player game, it doesn't exist. Remember, you can re-roll any number of dice twice, kind of like Yahtzee. Mm -hmm. So, you're going to commit to Rick? To another, that's all right. There's always another opportunity to do that. Okay. So. So now you get Rick. Okay. For the round. <clears throat> when the round ends, all the characters come back. Oh, these are, these are set. Uh, that, I was like, oh, is there? I thought that was exactly. So, do I have to? Uh, do they all have to be done to different things, or can they all be? Uh, However you choose, since those are individualized attack okay. units. Oh, like right. these are not individualized attacking. You can only okay. do three damage twice to two different okay. targets. Okay, so I have to do it one damage. I have to do it to three different targets. I can't do two of them to the same one. You could, yes. Like I said, however you see fit. Okay. The only ones that don't stack are ones like the Claudia. Okay. The laser. <clears throat> then I will do these two. You will do one, that, that one shot to two, so you're going to shoot another one? Uh, well, I shot no, one. No. These are your hit. These are the hit points. So that's basically one shot dead, one shot dead, and you have one okay. more damage to do one more damage. So it's something. Okay. But if you choose to hit something and not kill it, it would just get a mark. Right. I got that. Okay. So I just keep these. Yes. Those are your victory pile. And now okay. at the beginning of the next turn, you always turn up the next aisle. Never know what you're gonna get. So it's your turn now. You keep the card until it's in the end of round.